and today I am back with a what's in my school bag video. This is really late and I really want to squeeze it in um, because it's been a video that I've wanted to film for a while and then I realized I'm graduating like next week. So what a better time than to do it right now like 10 days before graduation. So yeah. Um, today I'm gonna show you guys what I bring in my school back to school. Sorry if the lighting keeps changing right now because this natural lighting is not doing me justice. Um, it's in the afternoon, the sky changes a lot. These are the things that I bring to school pretty much every day and if I forget one of them, I feel kind of not in the zone. So let's get started. Okay, so first, if I can lug this huge ass heavy thing. This is my school bag. Oh my god, it's literally like... Wow, it's huge. Um, I didn't even know it was this big, but... This is my school bag. It is a Carhartt backpack, as you can see from the logo at the very front. And it's in a dark brown colour. I wanted to get the navy one. I was kind of contemplating between navy and dark brown one. Because when I was roaming in the city, this was on sale. Carhartt had a sale. And yeah, I could choose from a few different colours, but in the end I chose this dark brown one because I thought it just suited... I don't know, it's just a nice colour. I don't really own any bags this colour as well, so I thought it would be nice. And in the front here I have a teddy bear keyring which I got from the teddy bear museum in Jeju. And it's really freaking cute, I love it. And then on the front pocket I just have a small yellow ribbon badge which is from the Seoul incident in Korea. So that's basically all the accessories I have on the front. Nothing too excessive, like filled with badges or anything. So now we're gonna move on to this big pocket. So this bag has two pockets, one small one and one big one at the back. So if we get started and start opening this up, the first thing I see is my file. So this is my expandable file folder. You guys would have seen this if you watched my how to organize my study notes video, which I will put somewhere here and you guys can check that out. So how I use this file and what's in it and everything like that is in that video, so I'm not gonna explain it too much here, but this is just where I keep all my schoolwork. And then after that is my laptop. So this is my MacBook. It is the 12 inch one from 2015 edition, if I'm not wrong. I think it's 2015, yeah. That's my MacBook, so this is basically what I carry around every day to type up all my notes and everything. If I forget this, I'm basically screwed for the day. Um, yeah, because I pretty much use it in all my classes. And I just have a few cute stickers as well. And I have a clear cover on top, which is getting kind of dirty. I feel like I should definitely like get a new one because it's cracked and everything. You guys can probably see from the edges, it's not that pretty. And with that, I have my charger as well, which I carry most days. Also nowadays, my MacBook battery life is really bad. So I didn't want to have to get that checked up with Apple. Um, but yeah, that's probably why I carry it all the time. I think like last year I didn't carry it at all, but since recently it's been getting really shit. So, I always keep this with me. And then I also have my diary. You guys have seen this in a lot of my bullet journal videos. She's getting real thick now, as you can see. Um, yeah, it's pretty thick, and this is where I just record everything that I need to get done in the day, blah, 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 all that stuff. For more info on this, you can check out all my bullet journal videos. Um, there's quite a few of them on my channel I do one every month for a plan with me, so that's that. This is just, you know, Cool Ridge water, wow. Stay hydrated, everyone. I have my wallet, of course, to keep all my money in, and actually last week, I forgot my wallet to school, and I was literally locked out of the house in the rain. It was really bad. Mom had to come home from work early. I felt so bad. But yeah, my keys are also in here, so don't forget your wallet. I have my blanket. Um, this is because it was actually really cold this morning, and I was like, yeah, I probably need my blanket. I bring this all the time in winter, not in summer, obviously, but in winter time, um, I just like wrap my legs in this in class and everything. It actually helps a lot more than I thought it would. Just to keep myself warm, this is from Daiso, it's $2.80, and it's just like a nice size to keep yourself warm in the cold winter days, cold winter mornings. And here is my pouch that I bring to school. This has my um, lip stuff and my mirror and or that snaz if I need anything. I also put some girl essentials in this, not right now, but yeah, normally when it's that time of the month, I gotta keep this in handy. This is basically just a pouch from 365 Basic Mix Mix. 
Um, I got it a few years ago actually. And it's just a really nice size to chuck in your bag. So if you guys can see, I have like a dodgy receipt in there. I don't know why. Probably from Char Time. Who knows? So in that, I keep my paw paw. Very, very good essential, guys. I have ridiculously cracked, gross, dry lips every time of the year. And this is an essential that I keep a lot. I have one over there as well. So I have like two right now. Um... But yeah, they're both kind of running out, so I'll probably need another one very, very soon. I have my must-have Mon Creamy Tint Balm. This is in number 11, Velvet Red. This is probably my most used um, tint to school. Yeah, as you can see, I just need to like pull it up because I've used it quite a bit. And this lasts a lifetime. I've had this for like over a year now and I wear it like all the time. And for other days, if I want to change it up a bit, I have my 3CE tint with me. This is called Going Right. I've only had this for like a month or two now, but it is a really nice color, so... I like keeping this around as well. And one more is my, what is this, Etude House OR204. This is a very old edition. All of you guys will be know this tint, dear darling tint. Um, yeah, this is from a very long time ago, but it's actually pretty nice. I kind of neglected it for a while because I was like, it's kind of like out now. No one really uses it anymore. But then I was like, am I really going to let this just like rot away and not be used? So I started using it again recently. And yeah, it's actually pretty nice. But these are the three lip tints I keep with me and my purple. And one more thing that I keep with me is my Burt's Bees um, lip balm. So I basically got this like pouch for my lip balm um, in Bali. So that was a few months ago in April. And you can get like three of these for like a dollar. It's really dodgy, but yeah. It has a mirror, as you guys can see, which is obviously not in a good condition. And with that, I just put my Burt's Bees lip balm, tinted lip balm, and it's in hibiscus. This lighting is really annoying. Anyway, hibiscus. Um, it's a nice kind of pinky, reddy color, and it's just like really easy application. So that's what I put if my lips are getting cracked as well, um, and they need some color. I also have a... Muji pen which is run out. I should probably throw that out. I don't know why that's in there. And last but not least, I have my Wee Bear Bears mirror. So this is um, the polar bear. Cute. One side is the close up and one side is the not so close up. So this I always keep when I'm applying my lip stuff on or you know gotta check my face up or whatever. I just always put this in my pouch. So yeah, I carry this every day. That's all that goes in. Um, Yes, last but not least for the very big pouch, I have my pencil case. A lot of you guys have been wanting to see what's in my pencil case and how I organize my pencil case. So here it is, it's from La Hit Lab. Um, that's the same brand as my file folder, my expandable file folder that I showed you guys earlier. It's a really nice brand, really good quality. I'm pretty sure I got this from eBay because you cannot get this pencil case from um, where I live. I used to put stuff in these pockets at the front, but it kind of kept like falling out and making it look unnecessarily really like fat. So I just stopped putting stuff in there. Um, if you open it up, dun da 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 this is my pencil case. So, if we go through this slowly, um, as you guys can see, I have my mild liners here. These are not all my mild liners. The ones that I'm missing, I have like um, the dark purple one and the gray one as well. But these are the ones that I figured that I just use the most. So I just arrange them in like a color rainbow order to make it look aesthetically pleasing. And over here, these are my most used pens. Most of them, if not all of them, are from Muji except for my brush pen. So that's when I do some calligraphy for some titles or whatever, for headings. And this is just the... What is this? Pentel Feud Touch Pen. Very good calligraphy pen. Have been using it for a really long time and has not died yet. So next to that, I just have my pacer from Muji and then I have all my pens from Muji as well. So this is the 0.7 pen. These are 0.5 and 0.38 pens, which I usually use for my Bujo because I don't like having really thick ballpoint pens on my um, bullet journal, so I normally use the really thin ones. I use the 0.7 ink one for exams. Um, for me, yeah, I can write really swiftly with this, so whenever I'm doing essays, I just like keep writing using this one. That's the basic front of my pencil case, and if you open it up, there's a little another compartment here, so I have... Um, 
a paper clip here, a rose gold paper clip. The second one I have my, of course, which brand is it? It's Muji. I have my Muji rubber, which is really good. Over on this side, I have three brush pens. So these are just a Tombow jewel brush pens. These are for bigger headers or if I want to be like more fancy. Um, so I just have the grey, red and yellow. If you guys saw my previous video with the desk tour, I do have way more colours than just these three. So you can check that out if you want to see more. And I also have these two Artline 210 medium 0.6 texture type pens. And I also use these for heading, so I have one in grey and one in black. Have a pair of smiggle scissors, and this has survived like seven, eight years with me, who knows. A study mate ruler. Even though I barely use it, I just keep it in my pencil case anyway because you never know what will come up. That's basically it for the big, big pocket at the back. And then we're gonna finish off with the small pocket at the front, which honestly doesn't have that much in it, so just this one over here. Okay, so first, it's kind of gross. Um, I have my card holder, card holder for all my coffee cards mostly. We got a lot of coffee cards going on, guys. Like, um, basically, the only beverages I ever drink in my life hot chocolate, mocha, or cha time. So, or gongcha nowadays. I'm like getting into gongcha. But anyway, bubble tea and coffee, basically. All my coffee cards, there's so many of them. Like, every single like sheet is filled. As you guys can see, I have a problem. But yeah, I got this from Daiso. I'm pretty sure it was 280, just like the usual thing. Of course, we got my earphones as well. I lost my Apple ones quite a while ago, so I'm here with these Sony $15 earphones from JB Hi-Fi, which are pretty good quality, guys, so don't underestimate this. It's actually pretty good. Oh, what a surprise. Yes, I have another Muji pen inside, which is not run out. It's actually filled, so that's good. And then last but not least, another card case. My last card case, um, this is from Muji, it's pretty expensive, I'm pretty sure it's $9. Pretty thin, as you can see, but it can actually hold many more cards than I expected. So I only have three right now, it's just my two Opal cards, so that's like for the train line in New South Wales. And I also have my credit card, which I will not be showing, but yes, these three I always have to have with me. If I lose this, I'm basically screwed, because I have access to my credit card and all forms of transport so yes oh one more thing in the big pocket there's actually like a like little zipper thing over here like a little zipper compartment um i don't use a zipper compartment but i have two sleeves here so the first one it's just like oh i don't even use these i feel bad it's just like a bunch of check off listies that i got from muji i don't know if you guys can see that and I don't use those that often. I probably should though. And I also have a mini stapler just in case. This actually comes in handy a lot, guys. I encourage you to bring a mini stapler around. So like, if you print out assignments last minute in the library, gotta just like quickly staple, speedily staple something, then this is a very, very useful thing to have. All right, guys. So that's all there is in my school bag. It's kind of sad because I'm probably only going to bring the school bag like seven, eight more times in my whole life. Um, yeah, with this uniform on as well. I'm like excited, sad, all these mixed emotions about graduating really soon. But if it's not up already, I probably have around three rounds of vlogs. I don't know, I have a lot of videos coming up. Um, regarding graduation and my last days of high school I've been vlogging quite often nowadays so I hope you guys can watch that really really soon and I hope you guys will enjoy those videos as well I guess I'm kind of in like a school series mode right now hope you guys are having a lovely day wherever you are in the world and I will see you in my next video bye bye